Hi guys and welcome, Gdembon here with a video about the observer block and how it can be used in a one wide tileable designs. So observer block has been added to the game in 111 snapshots and I looked at it from a little bit different perspective so it can be used as a building block in redstone contraptions, it's pretty much the same as glowstone so it transfers signals up but not down as you can see here, but unlike glowstone or slabs, you can attach also all sorts of components to it, like for example, here we have attached wire that attaches to it, you have a bunch of redstone torches, and if you flick this lever, nothing happens. Also, these torch technically powers this block, but it's not affected. So we have a new block to be kind of agnostic to redstone, which is pretty cool, unlike the, the previous blocks. The other cool thing about it is this is a one block dual edge monostable circuit that we haven't had before. Dual edge monostable circuits were pretty bulky before. And right now we can just chuck an, an item into this pair of hoppers and we have a 14 tick clock. And if you just pass the signal through the observer, we have a 7 tick clock at the end. And the cool thing about this design is uh, one white tileable, so you can put many of them next to each other and then don't interfere with each other. Another cool thing about this is we can uh, use observer blocks to transfer signals that's independent of the redstone wire and they are also one white tileable. So if we update this block, we only have one signal at the end. And the fact that it actually generates a one strength signal at the end is actually also pretty cool because we can just, whenever we need it, we can just put the redstone wire like that and it will not canoodle because it only engages this bit, not this bit. So it's pretty cool in this regard. Also, in terms of redstone uplays, it generates. Panda4994 was showing that a 3 long a redstone wire, when you turn it on and off, causes in total 1900 block updates, which essentially causes lag. And the same 1900 block updates can be used to make a very, very long signal wire just to transfer signal like so. So this is a much laggier friendly way of transferring signals as well. The good thing about this observer block is we can use it in contraptions that are one white tileable. So this is a one white tileable dropper elevator, this design. It's not 100% silent because you have a little bit of clicks at the beginning and one at the end, but it is pretty silent once you're transferring the items. So we can put any items here and you can see there are a bunch of clicks at the beginning, but then it's silent. And how it works is we get a comparator output from these a dropper that collects items and then we turn on this 14 tick clock and then this observer line grabs updates and converts it to the signal again. So you can use this torch tower to actually transfer items upwards. And it's pretty silent once it starts running. We have a few failures but then items are flowing to the top. Another application of it is this one white tileable glass elevator is also pretty cool so it works in the same principle so we have here a dropper facing upwards the block that reads from that dropper and then it goes to this one way tileable 14 tick clock that reads its output through the wire and the wire then because of the observers converts it to a 7 tick clock so and what's cool about this design is when we trigger our 14 tick clock like so and we replace this repeater with an observer we are actually triggering this more than 9,000 times per hour, which means that this actually is capable of transferring a little bit more items. So if we put a few items here in this chest, you can hear that we have dispenser dispensing items seven times and then it fails. We have this rhythmic pattern. To get rid of it, we can just replace this observer with a repeater and we get the uh, item being dispensed. So we have 9,000 items per hour using this setup. So you can just turn it on like so and you can see that we have an elevator that looks pretty cool because it's just a wall of items going upwards uh, to the chest above. Unfortunately, this is not perfect because those items canoodle a little bit. So we have here, for example, this line was transferring observers, but we have a little bit of potato from the neighboring lines like this one. So it's not perfect in the sense that it doesn't put items exactly in the same line. But if you just have to transfer massive amounts of items like here, we have seven of these and they're just moving items upwards in the streams and just circulating. So imagine you have a farm producing lots of items, you can use this design. Obviously you can use dropper designs using trapdoor, that's technically unlimited numbers of items per elevator, but this can be used as well. If you, for example, used to transfer lots of items in a pretty cool way. 
So that was your one white tileable elevator designs using the new observer block. I hope you didn't mind a little bit of ad hoc style of this video. It's very much work in progress, so if you have an idea how to make, for example, the dropper elevator 100% silent, please let me know. But I'm pretty sure the solution to it would involve using the new observer block. See you in the next one. Bye bye.